welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is molasses buns. This is a recipe that I've been trying to get to for a while. Um, a recipe that I used to enjoy as a child and my mom used to make it and, and actually she's waiting for me to do this episode so she can have um, some of those buns. So what I'm going to do is dive right into it. I'm going to show you the ingredients as I put it into our bowl and that way uh, you will see it then. Okay, so we're going to be pouring in a half a cup of cooking molasses, or if you can't get cooking molasses, you can just get a dark molasses. I had greased the container first so that it'll come out easy. And then you're going to be putting a cup of boiling water or hot water into the molasses. And, and after, we're going to be putting into this one and a half teaspoonfuls of baking soda, and then what's going to happen here, you're going to see it starting to fizz and once that fizzing is over with then we can start adding in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so it looks like it's fizzing there now so what we will do is start adding in the rest of our ingredients. We're going to be putting in a half a cup of brown sugar, it's really moist in there today so it's clumpy and then we're going to be putting in a half a cup of room temperature butter so as it could mix in there. If you want to nook it first into the microwave, you can, or just leave it out on your counter until it gets soft. And just stir this in. We're going to be putting in a tablespoonful of cinnamon, a half a tablespoonful of ginger, a teaspoonful of allspice. If you'd like it more spicy than that, you can add in to your taste. Um, and you certainly would know what that is if you made previous spicy cakes or, or anything spicy. So stir all of that in there like that until it's all incorporated. So now I'm going to be cracking one large egg um, and putting it into a bowl with a tablespoonful of milk. A milk of choice, it could be um, 2% all milk, it doesn't matter. So stir that in together like this and add it to your mixture. And then mix that in. So what we're going to do now is sift in three cups of flour. And we just put it right on into your sifter. We're also going to be using a half a teaspoonful of salt. Just sift it all in. So while we're doing this, I'm going to talk a little bit about, we're also going to be using a half a cup of fat pork into our buns. And this is the way they used to make it years ago. And I'll show you that a little later in our program, how we would work that into this recipe. Just continue sifting all of this in there. The way they made it years ago was very interesting. So now we're going to mix this into our molasses mixture. So again, um, this is an old recipe um, and one that I've been trying to get to for sure. I was open to do it over Christmas but couldn't get to it. But um, again, you use your discretion. What I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to make this full batch but I'm going to do half plain and half fat pork. And I'll show you what that looks like as we get to it. But just continue mixing this all together with the spoon. And then after, we're going to work it together with our hand. Okay, so what we're going to do now, so that's all the flour you need to mix into that mixture. Now we're going to try to incorporate this together to make a, a paste. Because we need to make a full dough um, so we can roll it out and then make those little little buns. They also was referred to as biscuits but I'm calling them buns right now. So you just mix this in. So I'm going to use my hand from here on. I'm going to take this dough now out and um, put it onto my countertop. Make sure I got all of it because I don't want to leave out one little bit. So um, just before or the clip before I used a, a quarter of flour just to kind of mix it together, to form it together. And this is another quarter now that I'm going to pour over so I can roll it out. But before I roll it, I'm going to break it in half because remember I was telling you I want half for plain and half of it for the fat pork. 
So now I'll show you how I'm going to incorporate the fat pork into this stove. And when I'm saying a quarter, I'm talking a quarter of a cup that you would just incorporate it into it just to, to blend it all together. Now this is a half a cup of uh, fat pork and I got it in small little pieces like this and this is what fat pork is. I'm, I'm thinking that you could probably see this. I'm going to incorporate now this into my dough and how I'm going to do that is, is just put it there and keep rolling it till it all mixes in through. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to dust the counter again with a little bit of flour and we're going to roll this out so as you can see the size that you would need. And right now this is the fat pork molasses buns and uh, then I'll show you the plain after that. The reason why I got to dust it with flour because it may be a little sticky and I don't want, uh, I don't want it to stick to my rolling pin. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut out um, just round pieces of the bun. If you've got a little small cutting, um, cutting cookie cutter, or you could use a glass. So when you cut it, just put it out onto a cookie sheet with uh, parchment paper on it. This way, it's not going to burn. So keep cutting them until got them all done. So after you cut them out you're going to have a little bit left there so you're just going to um, re-incorporate it together just pinch it all together and then roll it out with your rolling pin to make an extra couple of buns. Should be about 12 in each batch unless you want to go with a full batch of just the one kind you, would, uh, you can do about 12. But if not, it'll be 24 all in tall. Okay, so we got the fat pork ones done. So now we're going to roll out the plain. And again, um, if you want to make the plain one a raisin, you can add raisins at this point. But if not, you just roll it out the same, about this thickness, and start cutting it out um, until you got them all formed. If you've got a cookie cutter, like I was saying, you could use a cookie cutter, make different shapes, or I'm just using a glass and uh, it makes it just the size you would need. I'm going to set my oven to 350 degrees and uh, also set the timer for 15 minutes. Um, and then you could, uh, again, put both of them in together and then meet me back here and I'll show you what they look like. back to Bonita's Kitchen. Um, our buns are now done. I'm going to take two off to put on our plate. I'm going to show you what they look like. After they come out of the oven, you want to, they're pretty hot there now, you want to take them and put them out on a um, cooling tray um, or grate so that they would cool down nice. If you want to have them hot, which that's the way I like them, um, you just take them like they are. So now I'm going to cut into these and show you what they look like on the inside. Okay, so let me just cut into one here so that you can see what it looks like. Oh, they're so hot. And I mean, that's absolutely delicious. Take a little bit of butter, put on one side and then the other. This is the, the pork, fat pork uh, buns, these are. So this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Um, I'm going to pour myself some tea. But while I'm pouring it, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, if you want them a bigger size, you can just make 12, not 24. I showed you the 24 because I wanted for you to see what it was like to add in the pork into one and then plain for the other. If you want to make them identical to the way they did it back in the day, they used the fat pork fat, which they uh, fried out the fat pork first and poured the grease off and took about a half a cup from that and used it to replace the butter when you're making it. So I just want to put that little tidbit in there before I end this program, just in case you do want to try that. Um, but other than that, this is what your buns are going to turn out like. They're absolutely delicious. 
So hopefully you found this uh, recipe helpful for you today. Um, thank you for joining me for Vanita's Kitchen. Please take the time to subscribe to Vanita's Kitchen and each time we post a video we would send you a notification letting you know that we had uh, posted one. Also visit me on vanitaskitchen.com or our Facebook page. So thank you once again for joining us for Bonita's Kitchen. I'm going to get into my tea there now. Um, and you have a wonderful day.